I saw your skill. It's impressive for one so young. What? Wait, what skill? I've just been moving boulders and digging up hidden items. Maybe you're the one. Hmm, it may be possible. How about it? Will you listen to an old man's story? Well, I've got nothing better to do, so, you know, sure, why not? In the distant past, when Pokemon and people lived in different worlds, a war between people started an intense fire in a forest where many Pokemon lived. The Pokemon were surrounded by smoke and flames. They were in big trouble. And then the legends Cobalion, Terrakion, and Verizon appeared. Terrakion used its amazing strength to destroy rocks blocking the escape route. Verizon used its quick movements to protect Pokemon from looming flames. And Cobalion led the frightened Pokemon out of the burning woods. The people who started the war were routed by the power of the legends. Because of Cobalion, Terrakion, and Verizon, the war was ended. When people fight, there's no peace for Pokemon either. The three legends learned that the deeds of humans could lead to dire consequences for their world. They cut themselves off from people and disappeared. No one saw much of them after that, and the three faded into myth. I've been searching for them for decades, and I finally figured out that one of them is deep in this cave. But the legendary three do not trust people. If people approach, they bare their fangs and attack. It can't be helped, because they only know the old world. They still don't know the world has become a place where people and Pokemon try to understand and help each other. You seem like you might be able to show them that people and Pokemon can trust each other and live together. If they take another look at people, I think they will stop hiding from us. Yes. One of the legendary trio uh, in this game is hiding out in this cavern. And uh, right there you can see him. That is Cobalion, which is considered to be the leader of the three legends. Now, uh, this legendary trio, it goes by uh, several nicknames, actually. I believe one of them is the Swords of Justice, and then another one is the Sacred Swordsman. I personally like calling them the Musketeers, because they're based on the three Musketeers, and they're all four-legged animals, so I thought that name is kind of funny. Anyway, um, before we actually go up and challenge Cobalion, I want to save and make sure I have a good Pokemon in the front slot. Uh, let's... Okay, Neptune should be in front because he is, he resists most, if not all, of Cobalion's attacks. I've got plenty of Pokeballs, so we're going to save and see how this plays out. All right. Cobalion, it's time to duel. With an awesome intro and awesome music, Cobalion has appeared. This guy is a steel and fighting type. His moves, I believe, are Helping Hand, Retaliate, Sacred Sword, and Iron Head. Uh, Sacred Sword is the um, signature move of the Musketeers, um, at least until Generation 6, when the Hone Edge line picked up that move. Anyway, I think I'm going to begin with a Surf. And he's going to use Helping Hand. Fantastic. Okay, now... I think now would be a good time to switch Pokémon. Let's go to Muffet. Muffet will be a big help here. Another helping hand, okay. Okay, uh, let's go with Thunder Wave. To immobilize him. This will make him a little bit easier to catch. Okay, thank goodness for being a bug type. Now let's slowly weaken him with Signal Beam. There we go! Now let's start tossing the Pokeballs. I just realized I should have tossed a Quick Ball at the beginning of the match. Darn. Anyway, I believe the best Pokeballs for this kind of situation are the Dusk Balls, which work really well in dark places. Alright, now, legendary Pokémon are incredibly difficult to catch. 
So I can expect to go through several Dusk Balls in this fight. Okay. There goes Muffet. Let's bring Neptune back out because it's immune to Sacred Sword as well as Retaliate. Now let's go, uh, let's keep tossing them Dusk Balls. Something I really want to mention, if you're looking to weaken Cobalion and you think, oh, I'm going to use a Dark type move because it's part fighting type and that would be not very effective. Don't use Dark type moves. Its ability gives it an attack boost if you hit it with a Dark type move. So, yeah, just don't. You really don't want to do that. One shake? Okay. We're getting there. It's all down to luck at this point, really. I mean, I've done all I can. I lowered him into the red health. I paralyzed him. You know, it would have been better if I could put him to sleep, but I don't have any sleeping moves. If only Neptune was like other ghosts and could learn hypnosis. Okay, things aren't looking good here. Keep throwing them dust balls. One of them will work, I'm fairly sure. And so far they don't want to. Something you really should consider when trying to catch a legendary Pokemon is that, because they're so difficult to catch, they might actually run out of PP for their moves and start struggling. And that, uh, that pretty much means you're screwed at that point. Because struggling deals recoil damage, so they could knock themselves out. Now, I've never had that happen with the uh, Muscadiers, so hopefully it won't start. Neptune's doing a really good job of walling this guy, by the way. Okay, Dusk Balls don't want to work. Come on, I've only got 12 left. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, almost! I could have sworn that was it. That was a really lucky one. But I've still got 11 Dusk Balls left. Maybe one of these will be the winner. At least we've got this awesome music to listen to while we uh, wait for one of the Pokeballs to click. That is a really weird cry he has too, by the way. Okay. Keep trying. Keep tossing the dust balls. All right. Um, they don't seem to want to work, and he seems to have figured out that Iron Head is doing more than his Retaliate and Sacred Sword is doing. Really? I got six left. Come on, Cobalion. Do it for the viewers. Okay, he's doing stupid stuff right now. He forgot that Iron Head is the only move he has that's effective against Neptune. Maybe breaking out of all these Pokeballs has given him brain damage. Seriously. Oh, and Cursed Body. Nice. 
Okay, now we're going to heal up. Uh, no, that is not the pocket I want to use. Let's drink a Moo Moo Milk. And I don't have many Dust Balls left. I got three or four of them. Three. Oh, darn. This is not going to be good. Unless one of these is the lucky winner. And that was the lucky winner. Ladies and gentlemen, we have we now have Cobalion. It's been a while since I caught a Pokemon on screen. Cobalion, the Iron Will Pokemon. Steel and Fighting type, as I mentioned. Seven feet tall almost. It's pretty good. This legendary Pokemon battled against humans to protect Pokemon. Its personality is calm and composed. I will not nickname Cobalion because I am against the idea of nicknaming legendary Pokemon. They're too epic for nicknames. It seems that thanks to you, Cobalion has sensed a change in the world. It's a world where people and Pokemon help each other and live together. I believe Cobalion wants to remain with you and travel by your side. The fact that you battled Cobalion and you related to each other should be easily communicated to Terrakion and Verizon because of the close bond between the three. I'm sure they will also give you a chance to prove your worth. Yes, now that... Oh, sorry. The obstacles that separated Terrakion and Verizon from people are probably gone now. Whether you want to search for those two is up to you, but they are definitely waiting for you. Yes, as I was saying, now that Cobalion has been caught, the other two are available to um, be caught as well. Now, Verizon is the only one of the two, or the only other one of the two that is available right now because a Terrakion is found in Victory Road. No, I don't want to go into my bag. I want to use Flash. Thank you. Poor Muffet. She uh, sacrificed herself for the greater good. She did a good job, though. She got, uh, what's his name? Cobalion down to the red health, and she paralyzed them. So, uh, yes, your cooperation was uh, very much obliged. Alright, now that that's finished, we're all done with Mr. Alton Cave, we're all done with Route 6, it's time to fly to our next location, Nacreen City. It's time to heal up, and time to fight Verizon. I think Muffet will come out first for this one. Uh, she'll paralyze Verizon right off the bat, and then we'll start wearing it down with uh, Thunderbolts. Uh, okay, no Dusk Balls, unfortunately. Um, but are there any Ultra Balls? Yep. I'm gonna buy about 10 more. Just to be on the safe side. I don't know if the Dusk Balls work in Pinwheel Forest. Would have been great if they did. But I don't have very many of them. It's close to nighttime too, by the way. So I could, uh, lob them. Just lob them right at the beginning. After the quick ball, though. After the quick ball. Okay, now I think I said I wanted Muffet in front. Yes. Muffet, you get in here. Alright, Pinwheel Forest. It's been a while, but we can uh, go through here. And wild Pokemon. Are you serious? Alright, now that that's out of the way, you know what, I really... Let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just go ahead and use a Repel. And... Get the Dowsing Machine out. Hmm. Something here? It's Solar Beam, okay. Solar Beam. Oh. 
Rare candy. Um. Okay, I was lost in thought. I, I think there's an item that you can get when you surf, but I'm gonna uh, get it later. Now, okay, in here. That's a hyper potion. Oh, that's just a way to bypass the tall grass. Okay. Now, uh, in here is where uh, Verizon is hiding. Okay. Um, as before with Cobalion, we are going to save. All right. We're ready to catch another of the Muscadier Trio. With another epic intro and epic music, Verizon has appeared. And for the record, I'm perfectly aware that it's supposed to be pronounced Verizion, but I don't care. I just pronounce it Verizon. Anyway, uh, Thunder Wave. Quick Ball! I forgot about the Quick Ball! Darn it! Maybe it'll still work on the second turn. Okay, this is going to make the fight really annoying. Giga Drain, the ability to heal herself. Pokeballs, Quick Ball, hopefully. I don't think it's going to work, though. It probably isn't. Because I was an idiot. Okay, let's start wearing her out. Thunderbolts. Okay, that was a critical hit. Now, let's start using Flash, actually. This will make her uh, miss a few attacks. That's always welcome. Let's keep flashing. Okay, let's try a Thunderbolt. Let's try. Okay. It was risky, but I did it. Okay, let's use up our last two Dusk Balls. Nope. And there we are. There goes Muffet. Sorry, Muffet, but it's a necessary sacrifice. Okay, next. Uh. Hmm. Black. You're up. Against Verizon, honestly, um, Malfoy would be my second choice because he's a grass type. But uh, I had to swap him for Bernice in order to, you know, fly around. Okay, those are my last two Dusk Balls, so let's start with the Ultra Balls. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Verizon is Grass and Fighting type. And is... Okay, I, thought, I actually thought that was going to work. But uh, yeah, Grass Fighting type, it has the same ability as Cobalion, which I think is called Justified. Which... Uh, gives Verizon an attack boost when a dark type move is used against it. I've been referring to both Cobalion and Verizon as it when I'm typically the kind of guy that assigns genders to legendary Pokemon because I'm an idiot like that. Oh no. Things just got complicated.
Okay, if she can heal herself like that, then this is going to be very difficult. Okay, I'm going to wait for her to use Giga Drain again. And then if she does, I'm going to use Rock Tomb to try to lower her back into the uh, red area. And it better be soon, because these Ultra Balls are not having an effect. Oh? Oh, I got my hopes up there. Alright, keep using these Ultra Balls. I got plenty of them. Alright, come on. Keep trying. I need you to use another Giga Drain, Verizon. Heal yourself up a bit more than I can hit you with Rock Tomb. Come on. Nope. I think using Flash overdid it. Because her attacks are not connecting. It's attacks. Her attacks. I don't care. I don't really care anymore. I characterize Verizon as a female and Cobalion and Terrakion as males. I'm pretty sure that's how they were in the movie. Although I haven't seen that movie in a long time because, quite frankly, it was a disappointment after I enjoyed the Victini movie. I mean, come on. Curum turning into both its black and its white forms. Just on cue whenever it wanted. Th that was ridiculous. Come on. I'm, I might have to use Rock Tomb sooner or later. Come on. Come on. And there we go. Verizon has been captured. Only one left, but that guy will have to wait. Verizon, the grassland Pokemon. Grass fighting type, slightly shorter than Cobalion, but it doesn't make any difference. This Pokemon fought humans in order to protect its friends. Legends about it continue to be passed down. We caught the second Muscadier, and we're not going to give it a nickname.